226 years prior. It was Vant's turn. He entered the tent. No fire was lit. He saw Agmar's body. He circled the casket and approached Terry, who sat in Agmar's old armchair. I offer my deepest condolences for your father, Vant said. He was a fierce warrior. Terry rubbed his temples with his palms. What's in the box? Vant handed over a meticulously finished wooden parcel. For the new first prime, a prize worthy of a leader. It's my life's work. Terry lifted the immensely heavy package into his lap and opened it. His face contorted with disdain, and he violently shoved the box away. Two polished gauntlets toppled out, thudding onto the floor. Isn't my father's death enough? Terry. A reminder of your parents' execution on my day of ultimate exaltion? No, it's not like that. Get out of my sight! It's not a taunt, it's a gift. Vant dropped to his knees. I don't want you to share my parents' fate. I've created the perfect weapon for you. For my friend. For my leader. Terry was silent. He looked upon his deceased father, then returned his attention to Vant. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You've always been there for me. You're better than me. <laughs> better than me in every way. No. Vant spoke, still on his knees. That's just not true. Terry eyed the gauntlets sprawled on the floor. Their heft had dented the hard wood. How did they work? Try them on. Terry slid the weapons onto his hands. They're heavy. <laughs> yes. They can only be brandished by the truly powerful. Run your index fingers along the lips at the top. Feel for the hidden switches. Flip the ones on the edges. The gauntlets activated and roared to life. Terry buckled from the shift in weight. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> They can only be wielded by the truly clever. You have to move your arms in tandem with the throttle grips. Terry waved them around, admiring the symbiosis of the thrusters and gyroscopes. Shyla made the electronics work? She did. Smart and sexy. Are you and her? No. Good. Because I'm going to marry her. Perks of leadership. He waited for a reaction. Vant gave him none. And the whips? My favorite part. Slide the throttle while flicking your wrists. Snap them down, otherwise you're gonna put holes in the tent. On the third attempt, the coils unraveled and slapped the floor. They can only be flourished through the will of a warrior. Anyone can pull a trigger, but not everyone can look an enemy in the eye before extinguishing their light. The whips bring them in close, and the gauntlets end their lives. That's true strength to acknowledge a foe before you destroy them. Terry retracted the whips and turned the gauntlets off. He placed them on a wooden end table. It collapsed from the weight. Vant and Terry shared a laugh. I'll treasure them. Don't treasure them, use them. Let them be a reminder that you are willful, clever, and strong. Thank you. Oh, before you go, I would like to make my first executive decision as leader. Ready for your orders, First Prime. Vant stood at attention. Send in Cloakmaster Gordon. It's about time someone cut that geezer loose. Vant breathed. He did not move. Is there a problem, Prime Huel? Terry was testing him. His famous smirk appeared. But this time, the smirk was different. It was... Empowered. I have taken an oath. I shall follow your command. <sighs> Good. Terry stretched and slinked into his father's armchair. His armchair. Like royalty. Bring him in. Vant left the tent to collect his mentor. An ancient, loyal veteran. Who was about to be banished on Terry's self-righteous whim.